Hi, we're here at Emerson House. Uh, Jane Emerson is the head of the centre here. She's a very well respected practitioner on dyslexia in London. Um, she spent the last five years exploring dyscalculia. Um, Jane, lots of people that I've spoken to think that dyscalculia is just dyslexia in maths. Uh, are they right to think that? Um, not really, um, although dyscalculia is rather where dyslexia was about 30 years ago. Right. So there's a lot of debate about does dyscalculia exist as a separate condition. So if we go back to your question, um, dyslexia can affect maths. But many dyslexics are very good conceptually at maths but maybe can't learn the number facts. That's not dyscalculia. Mm -hmm. So really dyscalculia is quite a serious and thankfully quite rare um, persistent congenital condition. And dyscalculics really don't even have a basic feel for number. So that's very different from the dyslexic who's poor at maths. So, so what do they have and what defines their, their condition? Um, well, I suppose in the past it was known as number blindness. Right. Um, that's a little simplistic, so it's better to think that they don't really have a feel for number, not an intuitive feel for number. And um, So what does that mean? I mean, um, I'm just looking here that they have a very poor number concept, and what does that actually mean, that they can't... They can't. They can't count. I mean, what? I mean, what is the? It really means they haven't got a natural feel for quantities. They might be able to count one, two, three, four, five, but they don't really have a sense of the fiveness of five, okay. or the fact that an egg box always has six spaces waiting for the six eggs. Right. So it's more about the sixness of six or the fiveness of five. Is the feel for quantities? Um, Professor Brian Butterworth at University um, College London. He's come up with um, the main idea that perhaps there um, is a lack of development of numerosity. So uh, often when I meet children, people ask, how do you get a sense that they're dyscalculic so quickly? And sometimes it can be really obvious. I saw one little boy and I asked him how many fingers he had on one hand. And he counted in ones, one, two, three, four, five, five. And then I said, and so what about your other hand? And so, much to my astonishment, he started counting the fingers on his other hand. So he wasn't absolutely sure that he had the same number of fingers on each hand. And then I said, what about the feet? I was fascinated to know whether he knew about his feet. No, he, he started to take his socks off and to count his toes. And again, he wasn't convinced that he had five toes on one foot and five on the other. Never mind that they had that made ten altogether. So, in a way, it seems like there's no kind of... Um, I don't use the word common sense, but there's no um, basic confidence in numbers. So, Well, uh, no. Um, the ironic thing, a bit like dyslexia, is some of these children can be very clever about yeah. everything else. Yeah. And they may have brilliant common sense, and they yeah. might be very streetwise. And still, it seems like a dream when suddenly there's this black hole yeah. in their understanding of something so fundamental.